What I love about all of our conversations, especially with questions from subs and, and different stuff in the comment section on Twitter, everything, um, when, especially when people have differing opinions, is that people can present stuff in a different way that me or somebody else might not have been thinking about before. And I always appreciate that. Might not always agree with it. Like I know some of y'all don't always agree with me, but that's fine. I always appreciate the different viewpoints and the different reasoning that people will bring out in their arguments, in their debates, and just really more so in their conversations. Because uh, it just, it makes for fun conversation. And it's like, oh, okay, this is why I see it this way. And you like, oh, well, this is why I see it this way. And it, it, it's just nice to go back and forth in a respectful way. Not When it gets to disrespect, it ain't fun no more. But when it's respectful, it's cool. Uh, and like I said, even if at the end of the day, I feel the way that I feel and somebody else feels the way that they feel. It's still all love at the end of the day, at least from my end. Um, but my guy Nazarene, um, I always really appreciate uh, Nazarene's comments, questions, the things that he brings out. Um, because, again, he and he said it before that he, he likes to see stuff from the other side, so to speak. He likes to see stuff um, uh, sort of try to go against the grain a little bit. Uh, so this next question. Um, that he sent and, and appreciate you also being a patron man. Um, this next question that he sent was very interesting It was an interesting point of view And something that I Thought about a little bit But not really in depth like that And, and the question that it is, is, is Is there now more pressure On the defense Rather than the offense Now initially um, When I think about a question like that I'm like No No because and, and again, they, they did add Roquan Smith. The defense had already been getting better. Um, so I feel like it's actually not necessarily less pressure on the defense, but I feel like life has been made that much easier for the defense. They're still going to have their challenges and whatnot, but I feel like life has been made that much easier for them because they just got all these playmakers everywhere. All these 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 certified playmakers and these um, these guys that have made a name for themselves in the league already. They got some quality guys there. You got, obviously, Marlon Humphrey. You got Marcus Peters. Uh, you got Roquan Smith. Even Patrick Queen. He in there now, man. He's starting to really do his thing a lot better. Um, Justin Houston. He's been Ravens' best pass rusher. Dow Fairway, he getting there. They getting Tyus Bowser back. David Ajabo, maybe he'll play them. We'll see. Um, but then, again, they, they add Roquan Smith. And it's like the Ravens, they got some guys over there in there, man. They do. Then they got some 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 guys who are not as established, uh, but guys that can still help get the job done. So I feel like uh, like there would be more pressure actually on the offense because and for this game specifically, but even really moving forward. But it's really this game specifically. Possibly no Mark Andrews. Probably no Mark Andrews. Rashad Bateman out. So now you got a lot of guys who just um and Demarcus Robinson. We'll see what happens with him. But either way, he won't be one hundred percent. Uh, so he may be on unlimited snap count. We'll see. Um, Gus Edwards out. So I, I feel like that's more pressure on the offense, in my opinion. But let's get to his question, his reasoning, and his breakdown for the why. He said, "What's good, fam? Hey, everything is good, man." I hope everything is good with you and really all of y'all, man. I really love y'all and I really like, I really appreciate what y'all do. Seriously, man. I appreciate what y'all do. I appreciate what y'all bring uh, to the table. I appreciate just everything, the support. I appreciate it like crazy, man. I really do. It's, uh, man, just thinking about it right now. I, I, I don't know why it came out of nowhere, but I'm kind of like getting emotional right now because I just, the support is just crazy, man. It, it's crazy, man. But I appreciate y'all so much and, I don't think y'all realize how much I do, man, for real. Uh, but anyway, he said, hey, I know you probably aren't, ex aren't as excited about us getting Roquan Smith, but think of it like this. Uh, the pressure is all on the defense now, literally. I think that's good for Lamar. Uh, what I also know is when our defense is playing at a high level, it does something to the offense, especially Lamar. Uh, the defense creating turnovers does something to Lamar. I'm telling you, man, if this defense can do what they did in 2019 or better with this version of Lamar, bro, ooh, that's pressure for the other teams. Now, um, if the defense is creating turnovers and playing really good, well, yeah, that, that does help Lamar because that helps the offense. It, it, it would help put them in good positions, especially turnovers. Um, but if they're making stops, um, that, that helps the offense because that gives the offense more opportunities to go get points. 
for sure. Um, if they get in turnovers, that puts the offense in better field position and easier field position to go get points. Uh, so certainly that that definitely helps them out. Now you you, you reference 2019. Now in 2019, I think uh, one of the best defenses, Ravens' best defense in 2019 was actually their offense, because their offense was their offense was going crazy a, again. Every time we reference 2019, I know 2019 like a gift and a curse because everything is compared to 2019. Um, but 2019, like Ravens offense, they were going crazy. So that made the defenses, it made stuff easier to defend. It made uh, opposing teams' offenses more one-dimensional because uh, the Ravens offense was scoring, scoring, scoring in most games. Not all of them, but a lot of games they were scoring, 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 scoring. And these teams got to play catch-up. And the Ravens, they would score, score, score. They would be running the ball. They'd be doing the time of possession thing. It'd just be going crazy. Um, and that would allow the defense to just be like, all right, we could just sit back. we we'll let our pass rushes go. We could go good, get some interceptions and whatnot. It was it was crazy to watch, man. That's why I always say that 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 season was not real. It wasn't real. Well, the ending was real. But anyway, <laughs> he said, I, I, I tell you another thing, too. This team is so disrespected by the fans. Man, I'm telling you, some of us see it. We are far from trash. We have the most talented roster in the NFL. That's an interesting one right there. I disagree with it, but let me see what else you got. The most talented roster in the NFL. Let, let me see what you got to say, because I, I disagree with that one. But anyway, he said, I want to point out a myth while I'm at it. Okay. Uh, before that, let me ask everyone a question. Who is Patrick Mahomes' number one wide receiver? His number one wide receiver is definitely Travis Kelsey. I was talking to another Ravens fan who happens to be a big football fan like me. He asked me, who was Mahomes wide receiver one? And I said, no one. He said, no, nah, bro, it's Kelsey. Him making that statement made me smile super hard because he is absolutely right. I instantly was like, let's go as I dapped him up in excitement. Engraving, bro, I told you a week or two ago that our offensive line was top five in the league and the rankings this week have us at number three. Are they? I don't know. See, this this why I always say for if if those were the rankings, that's cool. I just don't be seeing that, man. Maybe, maybe I'm looking at it from a completely different point of view or something. I just don't I don't see top three offensive line when I look at the Ravens offensive line. Um it's weird because like with the rankings, I know um like I know was it you that brought it up or somebody brought it up? Oh no, it's my guy Makai. He was like it was last week. I think it was before the Bucks game. He was like, hey, before the Bucks game, the Ravens offense was like number six overall, something like that. And when I look at Ravens offense, I don't be seeing no number six overall offense. But the defense, they were ranked like I think in the twenties or something like that. But when I look at the defense, it feels like the defense actually ain't that bad. So it's like with numbers and, and with the offensive line, if they all rank number three, cool. But I don't see a number three overall offensive line to me. That's just me, though. So I feel like with the numbers, they like they're weird, man. But anyway, let's keep going. Um, he said Lamar has the protection. Lamar's weapons are better than Rogers weapons right now. Hold up. See, that's one thing that I, I, I always don't like when Ravens fans do. They like uh, comparing, especially with the offense. They're like, well, like somebody did it in the comment section of a video that we put out yesterday. They were like, well, um, look at the Bengals, the, uh, the Raiders. Um, who else? They were named. It was some other teams, too. I forgot. Oh, I think they mentioned the Rams. But they, they mentioned all these teams and they were like, look, look what they're doing with all that talent at wide receiver. They're, they're losing. And, and I said, wow, that, I, I responded to them. I said, that's, that's funny that you coincidentally, you coinc you just so happened to mention all the teams with bad records and good receivers, but you don't mention the teams with good records and good receivers. I said, how about you compare them to the, the Eagles, uh, the, the, the Bills? Um, there, were, there were some other ones that I forgot. Oh, the Dolphins. You saw that turn around, too. Uh, and and it's, there were some more, too, that I mentioned, but... It's, it's like I, I, with a lot of Ravens fans, they will do that. They're like, hey, let's look at a situation that compares to ours, but the worst example of, of something, like something that's in, in, in just a, a bad position. And let's compare the Ravens to that instead of comparing the Ravens to someone, something that's doing good. Like even before this season started, 
Because the Jets, obviously, they, they're doing pretty good overall, especially for the Jets. A, a lot of Ravens fans would always compare. They will be like uh, going into the season. Whenever uh, there will be conversations about GM, a draft strategy, a philosophy, or this and that, a lot of fans will be like, well, at least we're not the Jets. At least we're not the Jaguars. And it's like, why do you decide to pick from the bottom teams to say, oh, well, at least we're not them? Shouldn't your expectations be a lot higher Especially for the Ravens They ain't been around that long And they've had some success So shouldn't the expectations be higher Shouldn't you be comparing them to successful teams That's what I would think But anyway um, He said uh, Lamar has better weapons than Aaron Rodgers right now In the defense he has right now uh, The front seven Justin Houston, Calais Campbell, Justin Matabike Travis Jones, JPP Man I forget JPP's there uh, Patrick Queen, Adafi away With Bowser returning and a, and a, ah, and a Jabo returning uh, The secondary has Marlon Humphrey Marcus Peters, Brandon Stevens, Pepe Williams Chuck Clark, Kyle Hamilton, Geno Stone And Marcus Williams will be back soon You hear all them names you mentioned? That's fire right there All on defense That's fire though, all on defense baby and you ain't even mentioned Roquan Smith. Well, you did earlier, but that, that defense, guy, ooh, boy, they heavy hitters, huh? Boy, they, ooh, Ravens went in on that defense. But anyway, he said the defense is excelling right now and gelling together. This is very big. We have to win this year because if we don't or at least get to the AFC Championship, we lose as a franchise. Before the season started, um, people asked me what I felt like, where I felt like the Ravens would go, what I felt like they would do this season. And I said AFC Championship. I didn't see them as a Super Bowl team. I would obviously hope to be wrong on that, but I just didn't see them as a Super Bowl team. Um, anything, of course, is possible, but my, my thing was AFC Championship. That's why I felt like the Ravens, the farthest that they will go uh, this year. Um, hopefully, ho hopefully they can blow that out the water and not only get to the Super Bowl, but win it. But I don't know. We'll see. I, I hope that they do, but that'd be great. Uh, but anyway, he said... Uh, if we don't, or at least get to the AFC Championship, we lose as a franchise. Why? Because there are too many contracts coming up in the offseason. I do not expect Marcus Peters to be a Raven next year. Yeah, me neither. Um, he said he priced himself out of here. Plus, me personally and other fans see that he is gambling in coverage, and it is either a pick or a touchdown for the opponents. But, I mean, that's nothing new with Marcus. That's his style. That's what he does. Marcus Peters been on that. So with him gambling, yeah, that, that's just what he does. So with, with Marcus Peters, that's, that's who he is. A lot of times it's paid off. Sometimes it doesn't. But, I mean, I think throughout his career it's paid off a lot more than it hasn't. But there are going to be them times where it's like, oh, nice pick. Wow, Marcus Peters, smart move, great job. Then it's going to be like, oh, Marcus Peters, oh, you got caught looking in the backfield and they caught you over top. It's going to happen. But, um... That's why I was just talking, well, I told y'all this before too, but I was talking to my guy JT about it the other day. I said, man, if, if Marcus Peters, if he like was more of a tackler, and it's like he can be when he wants to be. Sometimes he'd be like, oh, well, it all depends. But if Marcus Peters was like more physical, man, he would be the perfect safety. Oh my goodness, he would be so nasty at free safety. Ooh, he would be nasty at free safety, but because that, that dude, man, oh, he would be nasty at free safety. But anyway, um, he said, uh, we attract good DBs to this team, so I know they will fill his spot. Uh, that's no disrespect to him, but yeah, you get it. Uh, as for the front seven, man, them boys going to be a problem for the next four years, at least if they extend Roquan Smith. I mean, you said if they extend Roquan Smith. I got to change that to when they extend Roquan Smith. That boy ain't no rental, man. He said, I think the Ravens will extend Roquan Smith and tag Lamar or even pay Lamar too. That franchise tag is a lot of money, man. If we continue to spread the ball out, we become a Chiefs-like team. We are dangerous, bro. We are the Dark Horse team, and I love it. But, yeah, keep up the good work, fam, uh, and much love. Appreciate you, Nazarene, and, and much love to you as well. I will see y'all. Um, I will probably see y'all most likely. Uh Sometime tomorrow, unless we end up watching and deciding to cover one of the games today. But I'll most likely see y'all tomorrow um, for the live stream during the game, uh, which should be a fun one. I know we got a lot of questions from subscribers, but we just simply don't have the time uh, to do them all before this game. Because as you all have seen, we have been extremely uh, busy. Um, just, yeah, it's been very busy. Because first we had went, last week we had went to Tampa uh, for that game. And then this past week. 
as y'all know, we was on the cruise for a little vacation, man. Um, so, and I, I appreciate y'all being patient with stuff. I appreciate y'all being patient, like with the videos as they come out. I appreciate y'all because I know some of them been a little bit late and whatnot. But that 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 that, that internet on that cruise was nothing nice, man. I, I like like being back home. I can't complain over internet, man. I can't. I probably will still a little bit, but I can't go like compared to that. Like, oh man, like to get I, I, to get a video out, it took a lot of work, like. The, the the quickest that a video will upload uh, would be two hours. That's the quickest that it would upload two hours. Um, I had to just go through a lot of hoops to to get the videos out, but it's all good, man. It's all part of the process. But I, I appreciate y'all being patient. I appreciate y'all supporting. Um, but yeah, man. So I will love uh, for anybody that sent questions from subscribers, anybody that sent it on uh, Patreon, anybody that sent it uh, to the email. Uh, we will do those after uh, the Saints game because, we again, not much time to do them now. Uh, we may do a couple tomorrow. Maybe we'll see, but not much time to address them now. And uh, after, after the Saints game is a bye week. So we'll have uh, plenty of time. Uh, to go through different questions uh, But team keep it clean I love y'all I appreciate y'all so much Thank you for everything that y'all do uh, I'll see y'all sometime tomorrow Or maybe today we'll see Depends on what happens But until then we out